Hi, this is Chuck Paul for IPN down here at the Tampa Cigar Heritage Festival, and it is a beautiful November day out here. The sun is shining, people are enjoying themselves, you can smell the rich flavorful smoke from all the cigars and there are plenty of food vendors down here today. Uh, we're going to be interviewing some people, some of the manufacturers, uh, some of the people who are actually selling cigars and some of the food vendors. Man, the food out here is amazing. Jack Harris will be joining us a little bit later today. Uh, we're going to be talking to some of the people that uh, have just come from all over to enjoy the rich heritage here in Ybor City. My name is Chuck Palm for IPN. Stand by. This is going to be good. Like being in love This is Chuck Palm from IPN, and I'm down here with Jack Harris at the Cigar Heritage Festival here in Ybor City. Jack, I understand you actually had a little bit to do with how this uh, came about. Yeah, it began back in the early 90s. Um, the only way I can remember the weekend, it was a Labor Day weekend, and I'd gone up to Cincinnati because Clear Channel, our parent company, had a big fireworks thing up there sure. called Boom's Day. We brought it down yeah. here for a while, and, and the city wouldn't allow it anymore, but they keep having it up in Cincinnati. And I happened to be downtown that Saturday, and uh, there were a lot of people downtown in Cincinnati, which normally it's not that full of people, and I asked somebody, what's going on? They said, oh, it's the cigar festival right up here, and I said, what? A cigar festival in Cincinnati? In Cincinnati and we right? don't have one in the Cigar City and Ebor City? For goodness sakes. So Inconceivable. It was. So right. we came back in Clear Channel that first year, the next year, of course, put it together and ran it for several years, and then it became more than they could handle. It got a little bigger than they expected, and they dropped it, and then they Ebor City Chamber picked it up, and of course it's grown to what it is now, but not nearly what it has the potential to be. I mean, this should be like the Food and Wine Festival in Aspen. That's right, yes. Uh, I mean, it should really be a big thing, and with the help of somebody like Cigar Dave, who's got so many, a hundred radio stations, and, That's right. That's and right. his fans are legion, and they love him. They would come here to spend a weekend with Cigar Dave. As evidenced by the noise behind us, the live band, and there's got to be a thousand people sitting in the sta uh, seats out there. It may it amazes me that a uh, national radio show draws this much attention, and I've seen this increase in the last two or three years. I know yeah. that we're drawing them in now. So what I think, uh, it, you know, just as a community, Ebor could really get behind this with all the cigar vendors in the area. You mentioned a golf tournament. Uh, we were talking about some of the breweries. There's one of the somebody few. like Cavassier or somebody, right. what, whatever's good with cigars. I don't know. I don't drink that and don't smoke that many cigars, really. But <laughs> Anything's uh, good with cigars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, There's some I great hear. food out here, too. I the mean, we got the, the Columbia restaurant. I mean, they were just up talking to Dave, you know. So that, now, Columbia is legendary in of itself. Oh, yes. So, yeah. you know, you're talking about Latin cuisine and the influence of the Bay Area, the deviled crabs. Uh, you know, this is really, I think, uh, more of a flavor of the Bay Area. Which, incidentally, that will let you in on the next secret. The next big celebration down here is going to be Sabor de Ibor. The oh, yeah. Taste of Ibor. That's and awesome. Same place. We're so, going to look forward to that, and hopefully I'll come come down and meet you here and we'll have another uh, Cuban sandwich and a coffee. Oh, I'm all over that. That's great. Jack, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. And Once again, this is Chuck live from the Ebor Heritage Fe Cigar Heritage Festival in Ebor City. We still have some other things that we're going to do. We've got Jack Harris, who is the uh, master of ceremonies for AM Tampa Bay, the number one Yay! news talk station and radio show in the Tampa Bay area, 970 WFLA. By the way, we both have something in front of What is that? It's both our flagship stations. Oh, yes. A great 970 WFLA. And by the way, Jack, uh, you are from West Virginia. Wacky Jacky by Cracky. West by God, Virginia, we call it. Do you know that a professor of mine at Syracuse University, Dr. Rick Wright, actually worked with you at WKYS in Washington in 1971 or 72? Well, no, 74. Okay, well, I know. Up there, mid-70s. That is correct. And I have an air check of you uh -oh. when you were doing the disco morning show on WKYS. Which, do you remember some of the things you said? If you can believe this, I ended up 
we, we started out in a, kind of a new stock station, but they, they played rock and roll music, and it was called uh, WRC, the Rock of the Capital, and all of this stuff. Well, they went all news because it was NBC owned, and they put me over to start the first ever disco station in the country in 1975. I was the morning man. Now, can you imagine this? Me getting on a howdy. Here's KC and the Sunshine Band. And this very urban audience sat around and said, who in the heck is this guy, this bozo? Hi, this is Chuck, standing here in Ybor City for the Cigar Heritage Festival, and joining me is... Vienna Fuente. Vienna, thanks for being here today. I understand you had a lot to do with why we're here today. Just a little bit. Uh, myself and my partner, Yvonne Scalise, are the owners of Smoking Events, and we are the, the company that puts this event together, and we work for the Ybor City Museum Society, and we're trying to raise, this is our biggest fundraiser of the year, so we have a great turnout. Very exciting, and I've been here several years now and see it gets bigger and bigger every year. Do you have an estimate maybe on the gate size? You know, we always hope for at least 5,000, but I'm, I'm starting to think we're having more. Um, the people have been incredible. It's it's snug to get around, and uh, we're packed, so I'm, I'm going to say over 5,000, maybe six. That's fantastic, and being 2010, this is a big year. I know that there's lots planned in the future. Every year it gets bigger and bigger. It seems there's lots of new things happening around here. Do you have any sneak peek into the future for us? Hmm. This, well, this event next year is going to be bigger and better. And we have, of course, you know, we, we want everyone to come back to enjoy this. But uh, we've got uh, another couple little events up our sleeve. And uh, I was talking to um, Latin Times Magazine, and we are going to do a little something together. Good. We're so we're going to do something that... Um, like, like we said, it's going to knock everybody's socks off. Outstanding. Yeah, Victor's a friend, so we're going to stay in touch with that. Hi, absolutely. Oh, he's uh, he's terrific, and he has some fantastic ideas, so I'm real excited about what we're going to come up with. Very good. And I'm just assuming that the uh, last name is not a coincidence. <laughs> You're part of the family, is as all we're saying. As a matter of fact, today is my second wedding anniversary. I'm married to I, Thank you. I'm married to Arturo Fuente Sr., and uh, he's made me happier than you can imagine. So it's, it's a great man. I'm married into the family, but what a wonderful family. Absolutely, and we enjoy the uh, factory here in uh, Tampa, sweethearts. I'm a regular customer myself, so exactly. we really uh, love having you here in Ebor. And, you know, from the Ebor Chamber, I want to say thank you. It's uh, my first time as a member this year, so really excited. It's our pleasure, and anything that that we can do to support the chamber we're here for so thank you very much excellent thank you very much once again this is chuck live from ebor city the cigar heritage festival Hi, this is Chuck Palm for IPN. One more time at the Cigar Heritage Festival. I'm standing here with Barry Moranti. Barry, how are you, sir? I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? Doing great. I appreciate you coming out here today. Just wanted to say what brought you to the festival. Well, the cigars. For the cigars. See, he's a cigar connoisseur, I can tell. You, you have a regular smoke you enjoy? I enjoy the Arturo Fuentes. He's a good friend of mine, too, so oh, smoking cigars. That's right. It helps, doesn't it? You know? Oh, absolutely. Matter of fact, he's standing behind us. <laughs> so I've got to make sure I talk real good about it. Right. Well, they're, they're also cool coordinating the event today. I know they had a big hand in uh, the organization. But um, So is this your first year coming out? No, we've been here several years. Uh, we've had a good time every time we come. It's always nice to be around the cigars. So, you know how they feel about cigars nowadays, so it's nice to be able to walk out in public and have nobody go, Ugh! Yeah, nobody gets a case of the uh, you know, sourpuss face when they look at you, right? So I'm better enjoying it. This, is, this one I'm smoking is an 858 by Arturo Puente. Fabulous blend. And it happens to be his birthday cigar that he gave me on, uh, on his birthday. So. Oh. Oh, wow. I had to smoke it, with, you know. Today That's a special event. That's right. Today it was for me, yes, it was. Awesome. Well, Barry, again, thanks for coming. We appreciate you as a cigar connoisseur attending the festival every year. And I want to say personally thanks for uh, the Ebor City Chamber of Commerce and uh, supporting the neighborhood. Good deal. Thank you. Thanks, appreciate sir. It, you bet. Day. And you. Thanks again. Yeah, I will. Once again, Chuck from here in Ebor City at the Cigar Heritage Festival. Come on, get over here while we're young. 
Hi, this is Chuck one more time here from the Ebor Cigar Heritage Festival and standing here with Cigar Dave, the general, who has just wrapped his nationally syndicated radio show. Dave, how are you doing today? No complaints. Great uh, great weather, great crowd, great cigars. This is what it's all about here in Ebor. Great lieutenants, great camaraderie, great drinks, great food, man. Been fantastic today. I'll tell you what, our crew, Captain Paul and Colonel Ange, made some great delicacies from the stone crabs to the uh, buffalo wings to the sausage to the turkey. It's endless, and the libations weren't bad either. Oh, I'm telling you, and I saw you drinking some nice crown up there. So uh, Cast 16, no doubt about it. Man knows how to carry his own stock with him. That's a good way to go, right? Absolutely. Never leave home without it. Right. Well, we just want to say personally thank you from the Ebor Chamber. Uh, thanks for coming out and doing this every year. I know it's getting bigger and bigger. We're really looking forward to the next couple of years. We spoke with Jack Harris earlier. Looks yeah. like there's some fun things on the horizon coming. Wacky Jackie, yes. We want to make it even bigger and better. And uh, I think this year we started with three events, starting with Saxon Cigar on Thursday. Yes. The Fire Up event last night and then today and I think it's just going to keep growing. Sounds like uh, the future is nothing but bigger and brighter for all the uh, cigar uh, heritage people involved. The uh, Ebor Museum I know is a, a big sponsor every year and uh, I, I guess uh, you've been doing the show from here how many years now? Probably about 12, uh, I think about 11, 12 years. Wow, wow. I remember when we started, it was in the summer the first year and it was not anywhere near close to the size of this event it is now. Yeah, the, having it in November really helps, especially bringing some of the out of town element that people I heard there were people from all over the nation here today. There were, and the weather's always great. We've never had a bad uh, weather day when it's been in November. It's picture perfect. Always right around Thanksgiving. You can't ask for better here in Florida, right? That's why we live here. Cigar Dave, thank you so much, General. We really appreciate all you've done here, and I want to say we're wrapping it up here from Ybor City, the Cigar Heritage Festival. Cigar Dave, thanks a lot. Long ashes and enjoy. Long ashes, sir.